Is it the right time to buy or sell Microsoft stock? In this video, we'll be delving deep into the world of Microsoft. Our initial report was published on our website on Tuesday, January 2, 2024. And today, we're bringing you an even more detailed analysis. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell so you can stay updated on our latest analyses. You wouldn't want to miss any crucial updates that could have an impact on your investments. Take your trading decisions to the next level with our recently launched AI stock analysis tool, powered by GPT-4, available at stockinvest.us. Unlock the power of artificial intelligence and receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide. Please keep in mind that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. As of January 2, 2024, our system has identified Microsoft as a sell candidate, with a score of minus 4.25. Now, let's delve into the stock's performance during this period. We'll closely monitor this evaluation to see how it unfolds in the upcoming days. Based on the current three-month trend, there is a potential 18.18% change expected over the next three months. This means there is a possibility of a return ranging between 18.18% and 29.33%. Looking at the 12-month trend, it suggests a 48.55% change over the next year, with a potential return between 38.34% and 58.04%. In simpler terms, the price is predicted to range from $513.06 to $586.13 after 12 months. In our latest Microsoft update, we have some significant news. The headline reads, Microsoft stock downgraded from buy candidate to sell candidate after Tuesday's trading session. On the last day, which was Tuesday, the 2nd of January 2024, the Microsoft stock price experienced a decline of 1.37%, dropping from $376.04 to $370.87. Throughout the trading day, the stock fluctuated by 2.49%, reaching a low of $366.77 and a high of $375.90. It's important to note that in the past 10 days, the price has increased in 7 instances, resulting in a 0.04% overall gain over the course of 2 weeks. Additionally, there was a notable increase in trading volume by 6 million shares, despite the falling prices. This could potentially indicate a warning sign, suggesting a slight increase in risk over the next few days. Overall, approximately 25 million shares were bought and sold, with a total value of around $9.21 billion. Let's take a look at the stock's performance over the past 52 weeks. The highest price recorded was $384.30, while the lowest price dipped to $219.35. Currently, the stock is trading at a price 3.49% lower than its 52-week high, which amounts to a difference of $13.43. It's worth noting that $384.30 is not only the 52-week high but also the all-time high for this stock. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll be discussing the latest analyst ratings for Microsoft Corporation MSFT. On Thursday, December 28, 2023, Wedbush gave Microsoft an outperform grade with a hold action. Similarly, on the same day, December 28, 2023, Wedbush also gave Microsoft an overweight grade with a hold action. Turning our attention to Tuesday, December 5, 2023, Needham gave Microsoft a hold grade with a hold action. Earlier, on Tuesday, November 21, 2023, Piper Sandler rated Microsoft as overweight with a hold action. Lastly, on Thursday, November 16, 2023, Wedbush rated Microsoft as outperform with a hold action. Analysts have given Microsoft stock a general strong buy rating. They rate the P-E ratio as strong buy and the price to book as strong buy. However, when it comes to return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. In this video, we will discuss the signals identified for Microsoft stock. Let's dive in. Firstly, there is a buy signal from the 3-month Moving Average Convergence Divergence, MACD. 
However, it's important to note that there are also some negative signals that may impact the stock's near short-term development. Both short-term and long-term moving averages suggest sell signals, indicating a more negative forecast for the stock. On corrections up, the stock may face resistance at the levels of $374.15 and $373.42. If the stock manages to break above these levels, it will issue by signals. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Tuesday, November 28, 2023, resulting in a fall of minus 3.09% so far. It is likely to continue falling until a new bottom pivot is found. Yesterday, volume rose on falling prices, which could be an early warning sign. It is recommended to closely monitor the stock's performance. Here are some additional signals that you may find interesting. The moving average convergence divergence has shown a buy signal. Pivots indicate a sell signal 24 days ago. Bollinger bands have generated a buy signal 12 days ago. The short-term moving average has indicated a sell signal 2 days ago. The long-term moving average has indicated a sell signal 2 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages showed a buy signal 57 days ago. Now, let's take a look at the 12-month chart. The short-term moving average indicates a sell signal 2 days ago. The long-term moving average has generated a buy signal 45 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages showed a buy signal 42 days ago. Remember to visit our page at stockinvest.us if you want to explore more signals. Today we're going to talk about support, risk, and stop-loss levels for Microsoft. Microsoft has found support from accumulated volume at $370.73. This is an important level to watch because it could provide a buying opportunity. Typically, when a support level is tested, we can expect an upwards reaction in the stock price. When it comes to risk, Microsoft tends to have very controlled movements. This means that the stock's price changes are relatively stable. Additionally, with good liquidity, the risk is considered to be very low in this stock. In terms of volatility, Microsoft has shown a daily average volatility of 1.12% over the past week. This means that the stock's price has been relatively stable on a day-to-day -day basis. Let's start by discussing some important fundamental data before we explore potential trading levels for Microsoft. One of the key metrics to consider is the price-to-earnings ratio, also known as the P-E ratio. This ratio compares a company's current share price to its per-share earnings. Microsoft's P-E ratio falls within the normal range, which is often observed in companies with established track records and predictable revenues. Moving on, the upcoming earnings report for Q4 2023 is scheduled for January 23, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates for earnings per share stand at $2.75. It's important to keep an eye on these figures as they can significantly impact stock prices. Today, we'll be discussing potential day trading levels for Microsoft. If we observe an upward trend, the first resistance level for Microsoft stands at $374.37. If you don't currently own any shares, it may be wise to wait for this level to be surpassed before considering entering a position. However, for those who already hold the stock, this could be a potential level to consider for swing trading. On the other hand, if Microsoft experiences a decline, it will encounter its first support level at $370.73. If this support level holds, it could present a favorable entry point, with the possibility of a rebound in the future. According to multiple analyst sources, Microsoft has a strong buy rating on average. Now, let's dive into some recent insider trades. On December 26, 2023, Hogan Kathleen T. sold 120 shares of common stock as an insider. On December 15, 2023, Hoya Alice L. sold 264,433 shares of common stock as an insider. On December 14, 2023, Warrior Padmashri bought 858 shares of restricted stock units as an insider. On December 14, 2023, Warrior Padmashri bought 277 shares of restricted stock units as an insider. On December 14, 
Thompson John Wendell bought 87,636 shares of restricted stock units as an insider. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, the insider power is positive with a ratio of 76.940. In total, insiders purchased 2,529,537 shares and sold 329,024 shares in the last 100 trades. Unfortunately, we have a negative evaluation for this stock and it is important to note that no stop loss has been set. Is Microsoft stock a good buy? Despite the positive trend, there are several negative signals surrounding the Microsoft stock. As a result, we believe that Microsoft will perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. Therefore, our evaluation of this stock is negative. We have downgraded our analysis conclusion from a buy to a sell candidate due to some small weaknesses in the technical picture. Upon analyzing the volatility and movements of the last trading day, our systems have determined that the current price is undervalued. When trading opens on Wednesday, January 3rd, we expect Microsoft to start at $371.18, which is an increase of $0.310. It's important to keep in mind that trading comes with a high risk of financial loss. Before making any decisions to buy or sell securities, we strongly recommend consulting with a financial advisor. At StockInvest.us, we provide information that can assist you in your investment journey, but it's crucial to remember that the ultimate responsibility lies with you. Welcome to Stock Invest. Today, we're going to take a closer look at the stock market. We'd love to hear your thoughts, so make sure to comment below and let us know if you agree or disagree with our analysis. What's your target for this stock? Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date with our latest videos. Our team wishes you successful trading and a wonderful day ahead. Thank you for joining us here at Stock Invest.